Uh, just gonna see that the time hits midday here in Malaysia. Then we're gonna make three or four cocktails, um, depending on the time. Uh, we have the normal equipment, but I'm also gonna show you how to use with other stuff as well, so it can be very easy for you guys to do at home. And I think it is, <coughs> uh, I say three o'clock. No, it's not three. It's midnight, mid mid midday. Jesus. All right, guys. Uh, how are you? My name is Jonas. I'm the trade ambassador for Bacardi Malaysia. And uh, we're going to do a little bit of a different masterclass today. Uh, before we've been doing a few you know, more theoretical things. So we've gone through rum as a category and Bacardi. We've gone through gin uh, and Bombay as a, as a category. And we've also done uh, the syrups and infusions and stuff like that. But today I'm going to show you how to do three very, very easy cocktails. You can do it in your house right now um, if you're quarantined. And after, also, also after quarantine when it's very, very easy for you to go out and buy and like that. Hey Ali, Elin, how are you guys? All you up well? Okay, so the first cocktail I'm going to do is a little bit of a twist on a uh, Dark and Stormy. So Dark and Stormy is one of my favorite drinks. Uh, this one I got inspired to make when I saw uh, my ambassador brother Mike. He did his masterclass yesterday on Bombay and gin and he made a sharing cocktail. And I thought I want to do a sharing cocktail as well. So if you're stuck in lockdown with your family or if you have roommates, this is a really cool cocktail you can do to impress them um, or after lockdown is done, if you want to have a house party after lockdown, uh, this is something you can make as well. So yeah, um, traditionally you guys. So traditionally, uh, obviously dark storms are made with dark rum. I don't have any dark rum here, so I'm going to use Bacardi Carta Blanca. Now, I'm gonna use 120 ml of Bacardi Carta Blanca. And usually when we bought in, we obviously, we bought in as we had these cool little uh, jiggers and measuring cups. If you don't have those, um, like not everyone has at home, you might have these baking, baking spoons you can use, uh, or most of you have shot glasses. So most shot glasses are 30 ml or one ounce in, uh, in, in size. Uh, this one is 30 ml exactly, I've actually ch uh, checked it out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put uh, six shots of these into my drink. One, two, three, sorry, I'm not very good at talking when I do this. Three, four, five, and here we go. Hey, Daniel, how are you? Hey, Dante, how are you? How are you doing? Oh, you like my apron? It's very, very nice, yeah? It's a uh, very floral thing, a very big contrast to what I usually wear, man. So yeah, uh, now we put our, our Bacardi in there. What I want to do now is I want to put a little bit of sugar. So this here is brown sugar syrup, which I made myself very, very easy. So all I did is I took this brown sugar here, I put it, uh, so I put this equal amounts with hot water. Hot water I just got from my kettle, very, very easy. I kind of cheated on the syrup making there a bit. Uh, use equal amounts of that and the brown sugar into a glass, uh, mix it up and then into this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put about three quarters of a shot glass in there, just to get that nice molasses feeling, you know? If you use a dark rum, you might not need to use brown sugar, um, it's up to you. Uh, because I'm using Carta Blanca, I wanna use that to get to bring the, the, the backbone of the cocktail a little bit. So yeah. Uh, hey Trevor, how are you? Long time no see. Hey Hong. Oh, we've got, nice, we got a nice gang here. Everyone, we've got from, from the US, we've got from, from the Philippines, we've got Malaysia, we've got a good, good gang. All right guys, um, so what I'm gonna do next, I've almost lost my knife, is I'm going to use calamansi. So calamansi is a citrus that's predominantly used in, in, uh, in Asia. If you don't have calamansi, you can use lime, um, but I got this, it's very nice. Because it gives it a bit of a, a mandarin orangey flavor almost. If you don't wanna use calamansi or if you can't, just use any, grape, any fruit you want, like grapefruit, orange, any citrus, uh, works really, really well. So you take this, I take four because calamances are very small. If you use lime, you can use two, uh, it's up to you. And just squeeze these into your drink. There we go. It's a bit of a... How's everyone doing? Everyone doing okay? Everyone holding up all right? I hope. All right, so now we got, we got our rum, we got our calamansi, and we got our sugar. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put a little bit of ice into here, like that, only about halfway, I'm gonna, hey Karin, I'm gonna take ginger beer, 
uh, and I don't know why. Every time I buy ginger beer, I, I accidentally buy the diet. I think it's like I think it's like um, uh, subconscious. And I'm gonna top this up about half the can, so about 150 ml with ginger beer. Then I got some mint. I'm just gonna chuck this mint in there very very easily. Uh, if you're a bartender, you probably have one of these nice spoons. If you don't, I have, you have a metal straw or a chopstick, you can do whatever you want, and you can just put this around, stir this around a little bit, and then top this up with more ice, and you got a homemade sharing a dark and stormy style drink, which is really, really nice. This, this drink lends itself really, really well to to uh, experimentation, so if you, if you want to use dark, dark berries like raspberries, blueberries, or, 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 or um, uh, blackcurrant or anything like that, like it's, it's very very easy. You can just chop that in there as well. With citrus, you can you can uh, you can add on do whatever you want. So grapefruit, orange, uh, the rum you can use darker or, or, or lighter, and the ginger beer gives a nice nice zang. So all, all you have to do afterwards is just take this and just pour this in a glass like this and drink. Mm, that's delicious. Alright guys, so that was that cocktail. So that was 120 ml of rum. Uh, it was four calamansis, or if you want to use lime, that's two. It was about three quarters of a shot glass of dark, of dark sugar syrup and ginger beer on top. Very, very easy. Hey Richie, how are you? Hey Jess. I got a nice gang today. Alright guys, uh, so that was the Dr. Stormy variation, a sharing cocktail. You can do it if you want. You can also do it on a smaller scale. Obviously, so a double shot of, of rum, uh, two to three parts of ginger beer and lime also works really, really well. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to do a shaken cocktail, um, a variation of a shaken cocktail called the Air Mail, which is a very, very nice cocktail. So obviously, if, you, if, if you're a bartender again, you might have these shakers. If you're a home bartender enthusiast, you might have these shakers. If you don't have these, uh, you can just use any, any water bottle or anything to do the same trick. It's very, very easy. If you want to buy one of these, these are these are very very good. So essentially, how they work is you put the drink, you put the ice in the big one, you shut like that, you make sure it's it's tight, you shake, and when you want to open, you see that there's a big gap up here. You hit on the gap, it will vibrate, and you can just open very very easy. But you probably don't. If you don't have that, you can use a water bottle and. I'm really, really praying that this time it's going to work much better than last time because the last time I did a drink with a water bottle on live Instagram, I kind of broke the back and I just got like a whiskey sour or whatever it was on my whole body and it was a, it was a very, very funny moment for all you guys, but for me it was very, uh, <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so the airmail is a, uh, it's a modern classic cocktail. It's very, very yummy. I'm going to use Bacardi Quattro, a Bacardi four-year-old. So I'm gonna use a shot and a half, so 45 ml of Bacardi 4. All right, just dump that in there and half. See how a little bit, a little bit more than half, but that's okay. <laughs> hey Ben, how are you? How are you Ben? How's Singapore? All good. All right, so we do that a shot and a half. We're gonna use a little bit of honey. Um, so. I got this honey, it's quite liquid, which is very good, so I can use this just straight away. If you have honey that's very, very intense and, and, uh, and uh, heavy, just, uh, just, get, just take the honey and mix it with, so three parts honey, one part hot water, to kind of mix it up a bit to make it more easy to work with. So I'm going to put three quarters of a shot glass of this. Just... Uh, Taking a bit of time for this to come into the glass. So how's everyone coping with uh, with the lockdown? Everyone's doing fine. You all been cooking at home and everything, doing well. Hey Claudia, and we got a very nice bunch here today. Okay, and I just put that into my water bottle, which I'm gonna have a pain to wash later, but that's okay. Like that. What I'll do later is I take one lime. And when you want to when you want to juice a lime, it's very easy if, if you just press it a bit or roll it to release the juices. Cut off the ends, and then cut it in half. Now, usually you have something like this, like a squeezer. If you don't have, you might have the juice squeezers that goes around like this. 
Um, if you don't have that, it's, you can just squeeze it in as well, it's very easy. Uh, a pro tip is to cut a little bit at the end to make it easier to squeeze. So like that, just squeezing that in there as such. Very nice. I'm gonna find where my pin is. And then I'm squeezing the second part in there. Hey, how are you guys? Hashtag we drop. Hey, Tony's there as well. I'm not doing a Tom Collins today, I'm doing rum. But uh, Tony, you know how to do one yourself, Tony. You're a very, very accomplished bartender. Don't worry about it. All right, so now I'm gonna take this water bottle. I'm gonna put the ice inside. Like that. Fill it up, not to the top. Don't fill it to the top because you want a bit of air to shake. Uh, but fill it enough so so the water can uh, so the so the drink can go around. Make sure that it's tight because last time I didn't do this. And you shake it. It doesn't really matter how you shake it. Just like this. drink is shaking really well. Uh, about eight to ten seconds, so I think I've got about four left. Like that. Uh, we want to fill the glass up with fresh ice. Fresh ice is always the best. And then obviously if you have a water bottle you can just do this with a cap and you just pour into the drink. It's a natural strainer. Like that, see that nice color. And what at the end now? So we have we have a, a, a 45 ml or a shot glass and a half of, of Bacardi 4. We have three quarters of a shot glass of honey syrup, and we have ju the juice of one lime. So then the next thing we need to do. Hey Richie, how are you? Uh, Mike, how are you? I got a damn good gang here today. Sorry, probably censor that out later. And then I got some martini prosecco here, and just top it up with martini prosecco as such and you got a really really fresh uh, variation of I mean it's almost a variation of a daiquiri almost because it has citrus and sweetener and, and rum but it's very very fresh it's a, for us that live in hot countries this is a very very nice drink to drink it's very refreshing uh, so recap it's a shot and a half of, of Bacardi 4 it's three quarters of a shot glass of, of honey syrup or honey or honey syrup one lime shake and just Top it up with Martini Prosecco. Mm, that is delicious. I'm saving that one for later. Uh, top it up with Martini Prosecco. If you don't have sparkling wine, obviously that, the sparkling wine makes the drink much, much better. If you are stuck at home without sparkling wine, soda water or any lime, lime lemon soda also works really, really nicely. All right, guys. Um, so I think for the next cocktail, I'm going to make a, um, a variation of a rum old fashion called a triacle which you can do at home. A treacle is a stirred drink for you guys that like your drinks a little bit stronger. So usually bartenders have these nice, nice stirring glasses that we stir with. If you don't have one of these, it is perfectly a-okay. You probably have something like this, uh, which you can use or, or whatever you can stir with. I don't have anything else around me, but hey, that's okay. So what you wanna do is you wanna take um, your rum. So I'm gonna use Bacardi 8 for this. I've already finished my whole bottle of <laughs> so, so, how are you, man? How are you? All good? Can we use other Bacardi rums in case we don't have Bacardi 4? That's a very, very good question. You can use other Bacardi rums. So if you want to use a Bacardi Carta Oro, uh, that works really, really well as well. It gives, it has those oaky notes and, uh, and uh, that aged uh, flavors as well. You can also use Bacardi 8. Uh, Bacardi 8 is my go-to go -to drink, um, go-to rum in, in the Bacardi family. So I would, uh, anything, any, 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 any Bacardi rum you can re technically use. I suggest the four, but if you only have the Oro, if you have the, or if you have the Superior, it all really works well. It just gives you different notes in the drink. So something with more age gives it a bit more mature, more oaky, more, more intense flavor, but something more that uh, has less oak flavors. So Bacardi Carta Blanca is still aged, but because we filtered through active charcoal, um, we, we balance out those aged uh, oak notes as well. But if you use this, the citrus and the prosecco is gonna shine out more as well. So it's just different drinks and it all works really, really well, depending on whatever you have. I'm just using the Quattro because I always wanted to have a reason to use the Quattro, you know? All right, so I'm going to put my Bacardi 8, my Bacardi 8. And this drink also goes really well with any, like any age statement rum so you can. Uh, and, and the nice, like the, eight, the Bacardi 8 is very, very nice, but if you don't have 
Bacardi 8, uh, Bacardi 10, or Bacardi 4, anything like this you can use. So I didn't have the foresight of bringing more than <laughs> one shot glass. So what I'm gonna do, uh, I'm gonna have to dip into my personal reserve of Bacardi 8 because I already finished the other bottle, sorry. Uh, so we're gonna do two shot glasses of Bacardi 8, which comes to about 60 ml, or it comes to 60 ml. We're gonna close the cap to save for later. We are gonna take about five ml of, of dark sugar syrup again. So this is the same sugar syrup I used before. Uh, very, very easy to make, one part sugar, one part uh, water. The reason I use sugar syrup instead of dark sugar, which you, instead of just regular sugar, which you can do, no problem, uh, is that it integrates well into the drink and you have to stir a little bit less and get, it's a more uniform experience. But if you wanna use proper sugar, that is also fine. I'm gonna use one teaspoon, because one teaspoon is about five ml. Uh, well, it's about 4.94, but who counts? Uh, so you just put that like that. Dump that into your drink. Now, the next part is bitters. So I know that might not all of you might not. Hey, Dasha, how are you? I know that might not. Maybe. Bleh. I know that not all of you might have bitters at home. Um, I really recommend you getting bitters uh, for your drinks. It's very, very. It's a very, very good thing to have. As make your drink, you can style your drink versatile. Uh, it, it really helps your drinks. I kind of lost my train of thought there. But if you don't have bitters and you still want to make it old fashioned, you can make it without them. That's fine. However, you can make your own bitters very fast at home as well. So if you have a high proof vodka or a darker rum, you can take that and soak some cinnamons and and uh, old, and, uh, and uh, orange peels and cloves and stuff like that in your dark rum or your vodka for as long as you want ho minimum half an hour but up to a day and then you can use that instead of bitters obviously there's a few you need to take care a little bit with the with the uh, recipe you can google the recipe for homemade bitters if you want i also did a syrup and infusions masterclass which is is on our youtube page called bacardi masterclasses uh, which you can check out if you need some inspiration for that so what i have is chocolate bitters I would usually use Angostura bitters for this, but I don't have, I only have the chocolate. So I'm gonna put two nice dashes of chocolate bitters in here. So this is a little bit of a variation, but hey, we're at home. We don't have all the equipment we need. So that's what's gonna happen. What happens after this is I'm gonna put, I'm gonna fill this up with ice. Like that, and I'm gonna take my, well, I'll try, it's only me drinking, so it's okay. So I'm gonna take my, metal straw instead of my instead of my spoon to drink to do this you want to stir about 10 times one time one side 10 times the other uh, if you want it more diluted you can stir it more if you want it less diluted you can stir it less it's all about the personal preference on how how you uh, how, how you want your drinks how you want your uh, shape of. so what you're gonna do next is we're gonna take your rocks glass put that down we're gonna fill that with ice, not that much. And then we're going to try, probably fail horrifically, to pour this drink into here without pouring any any ice. Ah, like that, perfect. All right, guys. So at this point here, this is a normal Bacardi old fashioned with chocolate bitters. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some apple juice. So this drink is better if you have freshly pressed apple juice. I don't have a juicer at home, so I can't do that, but I bought this apple juice, which is 100% apple, no additives, nothing, uh, from some weird farm in, in Australia, I don't know. Uh, yeah, and I'm gonna, gonna put, take our spoon, and we're just gonna float some apple juice on top of the drink there. So we have a nice layer of apple juice laying on top of that drink there. And we got a fair cheerful. Obviously, if you make if you make this drink with, uh, with with freshly pressed apple juice, the color is gonna be nicer. It's gonna be a big foam on it as well. But essentially, the the the, the end result is the same. So yeah. Oh, that is absolutely beautiful. Mm. So that is two shots of uh, of Bacardi Eight or an old rum. So two shot glasses, one teaspoon or five ml of sugar syrup. You can also use normal dark sugar if you want. Uh, I use chocolate bitters. You can make your own bitters at home with dark rum, and vodka, or spices, uh, or you can buy bitters in most uh, shopping malls, uh, like Aeon, Quincy Mall, all that sort of stuff. Um, at least here in Malaysia, 
You can also do it without without bitters, maybe add a little bit more darker sugar to, to balance out the flavors. But that is absolutely delicious. So I think my favorite is the airmel. All right, guys. I think that is my three drinks. We have 20 minutes. Does anyone have any questions for the Jonas before I drink all these drinks and um, become a bit jolly? I'm just gonna wait a little bit for this to to pop up because I know it takes a little time for the uh, for the questions to come up. So how's everyone doing? Everyone doing all right? Everyone's having a good time at home. Hopefully, hopefully this thing will will uh, will go over soon. So I have so many drinks now. The good thing about this drink is if you have a lid, you can then pop this on and uh, put it in the freezer uh, in, the, in the fridge as well. Yes, Ben, nicely. So obviously this uh, next next Thursday, Friday, I think this Friday, I'm doing another one of these with Bacardi as well. I'll be doing different drinks. So it won't be the same drinks you can do. Uh, it, won't, it won't be the same drinks I did this one. So if you pop into the next one as well, um, I will put this on YouTube, Bacardi Masterclasses as well. Uh, amazing page on YouTube. If you haven't checked, we're all putting our content on there. Like it's becoming like a, a hub for, for bar knowledge is very, very cool. Bacardi Daiquiri spec. Okay, so officially um, a Bacardi Daiquiri so, uh, uses a double shot or, uh, or I think it's 60 mils, I think, um, I don't know the top of my head, of Bacardi Carta Blanca, two tablespoons of, of custard sugar, and uh, 25 ml of lime juice. I like, to, I like to use a sugar syrup as well, so my personal favorite is a double shot of Bacardi Carta Blanca, obviously, uh, 30 ml of lime juice and 20 ml of sugar just to get a more tart, um, uh, tart uh, limey citrusy drink. Very, very beautiful. Uh, what you can also do is, um, so with daiquiris, uh, if you guys looked at, at my syrups and infusions masterclass, this is, uh, is, is a pineapple and chili patty syrup I made. Very, very easy. So that the masterclass is on YouTube, Bacardi Masterclasses. Uh, it's essentially a sugar syrup with fresh pineapples and chili paddy, Thai chili paddies. So you take that one, 20 ml or, or a little bit over half a shot glass, two limes and a double shot of Bacardi Carta Blanca. You shake that, you get a very fruity, tropical, spicy uh, daiquiri. All right, all Cuban at home. Yes, all Cuban at home, so all Cuban is a very, very good drink. Uh, it's, it's a modern classic created with Bacardi 8, I believe. Um, I don't have a cheat sheet in front of me. Uh, it was created in New York very, very recently. Uh, not recently, but a few years ago. It is essentially a mix between a daiquiri and a mojito with a little bit of sparkling wine on top. So all Cuban, I can't make... Can I make it? Can I make, can I make it on Cuban? I think. Maybe I can, yeah. Mm. No, I cannot. I don't have any more mint. But all Cuban is essentially... Um, uh, Bacardi, Bacardi 8, mint leaves, lime, uh, sugar, shaken with a bit of bitters uh, into a martini glass, which you then top up with, uh, with Prosecco. It's very, very nice, very, very fresh. I will make that one next, uh, next masterclass. So on Friday, I will make an old Cuban for you, Trevor. I promise you that. If not, then you, uh, yeah, I owe you a bottle, but I will do that. I will do that for sure. Uh, so tune in that time. Okay, guys, uh, I think this is it for me. I think, is there any other questions? I know this, this format is a bit hard. Next time I'm gonna work on, on integrating your questions in a one-to-one -one, uh, video thing, but I need to work out the actual metrics because I'm having two phones. Uh, but yes, thank you guys for tuning in. I uh, hope you guys are well at home. And uh, this one will be available for 24 hours if you need to repeat for the, for the recipes. Otherwise, I'm available. Just DM me on Instagram uh, for any questions you guys have. Thanks, guys.